Hi, it's Ted Field, Edina Realty Senior Services. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Tuesdays with Ted. Today I'm in Burnsville at the Regent with two of my favorite, known them a long time. And look at this. I come in and there's a plaque that says, welcome. For me, that's me. Yeah. So thank you. I've never had that before. Another new thing that I've never done before is interviewed two people in one day. Our friend Vicki DeProxen is the executive director here. Yes. And uh, she wanted to come on and I said, sure. She and I go back. Well, I met you at the grand opening. Now yes. tell me how many years that's been. That's been 17 yeah. years. We opened. 17 yeah. years. Yeah. And I was here. Yes. Yeah. It was a fun event. It was a fun event. Yeah. I remember it yeah. very well. I, I go to all of them I can. Of course, the last year I haven't been very very done very well that's all right Ted. we have another one for you we do yeah okay yeah. um the lady in the mustard here is <laughs> uh, that's all right this well, is my friend i'll get you I'll this get is you. my friend beth woodward she's the marketing director here at regent and we go back but not this far how not long do we go back far. we i have been here for six and a half years and so i think that we connected through Almost those times, yeah. um, multiple, multiple times. Right. And I'll tell you the one thing that I remember the most, uh -oh. I never forget it, is the phone rings and it's you. And you said, Beth, it's your birthday today. I called to wish you a happy birthday. And I just saved it. You saved that? Yeah. And all did. of the one I sense? Did. I call you yeah. every year. I know you do. Okay. I know you do, but it was so special to get oh. that call. And it's a hobby that I, I have, yeah, and I like to call yeah. people on their birthday. Well, that's part of who you are too. It is. You know, you've yeah. got you're in the real estate business. Well, I'm a and salesman. You're a people, Forget yeah, about you're it. But a I'm a people person, person. Yeah, exactly. You are. Yeah. yeah. Now there's right. many levels of care here. Yes. Tell us. Yes. Give us the from the like I'm walking in. I I would hope that I'd be independent without some services. Well, we'll have After that last verse, they'll go, no, we've got a bed for you, <laughs> <laughs> Um Yeah, we'll have to give them the super-duper assessment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, we have uh, independent living, we have assisted, we have memory care, and we have care suites. And what I really love is in between independent and assisted, we've got independent plus. Yes. And what that means is, um, you know, independent is less expensive typically than assisted. And so we put like a bridge in there. Oh, that's nice. And um, so it's it's more affordable most times. What is the criteria where one might be placed oh in, in any um, of these housing Situation. How I like to look at it is our independent is more, if you need services, they can be scheduled services. Okay. So I, I can schedule my medications are assigned at a specific time. Uh, if I want a bath, we would schedule a specific day, time, you know, during the mm -hmm. week, if I get yeah. one bath, two baths. Uh, dressing and grooming, morning cares, PM cares. We can identify the time in the morning and the time in the evening. It's something that's scheduled. Okay. Uh, if they get to where they need more unscheduled services, such as toileting, our body isn't on the clock at a given time. Um, it fluctuates when we need assistance to get to the restroom. They would require to go to assisted living. That's a good example. Uh, or if um, they need a more complex medical needs. So if maybe somebody's diabetic and we need to do blood sugar, insulin, uh, if they needed um, catheter care, colostomy care, those would be things that would drive them to assisted living level of care. Okay, okay. Um, you like right, your so job here, don't you? I do. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't even have to ask she this one. Really, very good. If I said, just tell me one thing. What is the one thing that gets you into work every day and makes you smile most of the day? What's the, just families. Families and helping them through the transition. I know you're very exactly. hands-on because we worked yeah. with people before. Yeah. Nothing. No details gets ignored here. By the way, uh, <laughs> Beth is like a. Yeah. I want to say a machine because it's oh. that's uh, it's not kind enough. Right. That was nice. Yeah, it? it was nice. Yeah. Um, She's very caring and compassionate. Yeah. And really digs down to what the, the needs are. And that's you know when you're you if you believe in what you're selling. 
or renting, but, mm -hmm. but if you believe in what you're selling, that should be pretty easy right. if you're in the right job. Right. And you, you are. I am in the right job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell me, um, what do you love most about your job? I love the residents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the staff. I mean, I, I feel I have a second family here. Wow. This you know family. everybody, right? I do. First name. Yes. That's what I miss the most. You know, I have a that experience in healthcare, nursing yes. home administrator. Uh, mm -hmm. I ran a big healthcare uh, company actually, and I knew hundreds of people. I mean, pretty much everyone. You know, hi yeah. Doris, yeah. hi Betty, hi Jack, and they all. It was so fun. I mean, you make the morning <laughs> rounds, rounds and just come back, and you're all invigorated, right? right? Yeah. 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 Well, Vicky knows the residents and their families and their families and their families. That's how, um, that's how she talks with people, yeah. you know, and she gets to know them all and very personal. Well, you guys have done well. It's a, it's a very good team. I'm glad I got, I'm glad I got to interview both of you today. Not that you wouldn't have done a great job by yourself. It's okay, Beth. But she and I talked earlier. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta get serious again. We're, we're gonna get serious again. Okay. Um, COVID, that nasty word. I have to ask you, how you doing on that? You know, we're we're doing all right. We we kept it out of our building um, until late fall, um, mm -hmm. and um, you know the team team did what we needed to. We were prepared ahead of time. You know, we have a safety committee that meets regularly and analyze what our potentials for disasters could be. And thankfully we had pandemic on one of them at high points. So we, we had a lot of PP on hands, so we didn't run into where a lot of facilities might have not had supplies right. on hand. Yeah. And we were well prepared. We also had one of our staff um, that was from Asia and, and was keeping us informed on a lot of things that was happening very early. Okay. So that helped us. We went and ordered additional supplies. So we have not had any time where we were out of PPE. Uh, okay. And we actually thought about first, well, do we hold off using until it actually hit? And once uh, we went on shutdown, I said, you know what, why hold off until we need it? And it's in our building. Let's start before we need it yeah. and have it that we're wearing masks, wearing face shields, and keeping yeah. everybody safe so that we can prevent it and prevent it from spreading. Wonderful. Um, so it was late fall before we had a, a case. But that now we're, in. we're pretty much COVID free. I know I can tell you folks out there that this is, um, well, both they, they both had masks and screens on. They wouldn't give me one of those cool screens because <laughs> I have 12 of them in my car anyway, so I could have gotten one. But I had to go through all this test. My temperature today, by the way, is an even 98 degrees. Ooh, nice. But it was yeah. really very detailed as far mm -hmm. as the, more than I've seen any other place. Yeah. You well, know. That's a robot, you know. It's a robot? Yeah. 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 So it grabs you if you make a yeah. bad answer. <laughs> it, it won't kick you out until you can't come in if you make the wrong answer. I was very careful. So, yeah. I wanted this interview bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. No, so, I, all this goofing around has made this a kind of a long video, but is there talking to the people that are going to look at this, hopefully the people that are interested in moving in or know somebody or know somebody, whatever, why, in your words first, why would you encourage someone to come here instead of any place else? Because the combination of the genuine care and our we're like a family and say, so take care suites. So we've got home health aides that work with our uh, residents and our residents have the choice of what their schedule is. What are the, when do they want to eat? Where do they want to eat? Um, I, I interviewed several home health aides and every one of them had a different answer and they were all coming from the heart. Good. Yeah. Okay. And we're all coming from the heart about. So your your yeah. your answer would be what a great staff you have again. It's a great staff. Yeah. yeah. And you, young lady, what would you say to your audience today, or why they should at least consider come for a tour, or just say you're moving in, call us, we're moving in. What would you say? I, I would say similar to Beth. It's the staff. Um, we do have staff that have been with us um, since we opened our doors. 
Um, and, um, That's amazing. And I'm, I am one of them. I know. <laughs> and yeah. we do have other <laughs> staff. Um, our, <laughs> yes, I know I'm old. <laughs> I see it in the gray hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think I am the oldest one here, so. Um. All right, we're not going to do that. I'm too but, much of a gentleman. Yes, yeah. I'm probably older than the two of you. Uh, but no, we, we have a very caring and compassionate team. Um, many of our staff have been here five, ten plus years, uh, and, and feel as Beth says, it's, it's a family. Right. You know, our residents, our, our co-workers, um, they, the people we want to spend time with. Right. We, we enjoy the interactions, we enjoy the connections. Um, helping support each other, you know, somebody's having troubled times. Right. Um, it's like a big family, isn't it? It is. Um, it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and things that right now, given the state where we're in, um, as you mentioned with COVID, one of the things I'm very grateful for, um, when Augustan and Elam firm together back in 2018 and formed Cassia, uh, we began the a and &E Pharmacy, which is our own pharmacy. Uh, I've been on the board of the pharmacy since its inception. And we've had the opportunity to not only have our first vaccine clinics in here in January and get all residents and all staff who want to be vaccinated, uh, vaccinated. We've been able to invite family members in, whether it be they're oh, in as essential cool. caregiver or even extended family um, that have been able to come in. And we have been having for over a month now vaccine clinics and we will continue because as they come in for their second, we for sure will be holding clinics through the middle of May. You're really um, staying in front of this as much so, as much as possible. From the very beginning. much so. Yeah. From the you know, beginning. And, yeah. and that helps keep the bubble around all of us sure it protected. Does. Right. The the more people we interact with, and even our own families uh, have been able to come in and get vaccinated, right. either here or our home office has hosted multiple vaccine That's clinics right. where that. we can send yeah. you know family right. members you know whether it be our children or you know our spouses uh, have been able to go to the rest of the families um, so yeah that's that's been awesome all right ladies what a pleasure we've been going to do this Thank for you. a long time we yes. said beth said why don't we wait till spring we'll sit outside and i said yeah. hey that works. April should work. Right? By the lake. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's 37 degrees or something, so uh, we decided to be inside. But thanks for watching today. Um, I hope you watch the whole thing. Oh, by the way, my assistant says if you are watching this on Facebook, you're supposed to like it. Oh, so, uh, right. That's yes, what you told yes, me. Yes, that yes. I was supposed to, like to say it. it right at the beginning because how many people watch it to the end? Right. Yes. Oh, you will. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so you better yeah. like it. Yes. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next week. All right. Say goodbye, Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>